First off, its impact can be felt everywhere, and it's a source of sleepless nights for Americans. Those were Barack Obama's opening words on the economic crisis as he appeared before Congress for the first time. The president is giving his address now, and those uh, uh, are live picks that we're receiving right now. Obama gave assurance the administration's moving swiftly and aggressively to help the economy. But how bad is the situation, and is the president heading in the right direction to get out of it? RT's Dina Gusovsky has been finding out. Economic crisis that is global in scope. If only it were that easy to traffic an economy that seems to be heading nowhere but south. At least that's what the president of the United States would have people believe. The situation we face could not be more serious. We have inherited an economic crisis as deep and as dire as any since the Great Depression. Harsh words from Barack Obama, but are things really all that bad? I asked two prominent U.S. policymakers what they thought, but these politicians don't seem to agree on much of anything. Barack Obama has said that this economic situation is the worst crisis since the Great Depression. Do you agree with that? To say that this is in any sense comparable to the Great Depression uh, is a huge exaggeration. I think it's bad. I think he's probably right on that. Uh, but I don't think he has the full understanding of why it's that bad. Do you think that a Wall Street meltdown is now imminent? Well, I think it's melted down pretty well already. The, the melting down will continue, and uh, it's going to be endless unless we change our ways. We can expect this, this problem to last not for a year or two, but for a decade or two. I don't think that's at all likely. I think what is likely to happen is that as the U.S., uh, led the uh, uh, fall into recession. It will also lead the recovery out. Economists predict the uh, beginning of a recovery toward the end of this year or early next year. And when it comes to foreign policy, Barack Obama's priorities are pretty clear. Barack Obama says that he plans to deploy 17,000 more troops into Afghanistan. Do you agree with this? I think it's a, a sound decision to increase the troop levels. I think it's an outrage. <laughs> right now we've suffered the most because we're paying for our foreign intervention of Overseas. But uh, foreign policies don't change. It doesn't change with uh, Democrats or Republicans. They're all interventionists. They all believe in the world empire. And apparently they believe that more spending, over a trillion dollars more, will help the economy. Economists from across the spectrum have warned that if we don't act immediately, millions of more jobs will be lost. No, this is the wrong kind of stimulus. I think it's the most foolish trend that we've ever been involved in in our whole history. Whether it has to do with the economy or foreign policy, the very leaders that Americans look to for solutions seem to be taking them into completely opposite directions. Gina Gosofsky, RT, Washington, D.C.